If this is how you wake up in the morning, then this is the video for you. <laughs> Today's video is gonna be a hair tutorial. My friends, this is my hair naturally air dried. I know you guys enjoy when I do my morning hair posts on Instagram stories and Snapchat showing you the many ways that my hair decides to dry. This is just one of the ways every day is different. It's like a surprise. <laughs> Once I showed my before and after of how I smooth out my hair just using a curling iron, you guys all wanted a tutorial, so here I am doing a tutorial. First things first, my friends, brush your hair. Once you brush your hair, it's gonna turn even frizzier, especially if you have curly hair, but this is just gonna get all the knots out, and we're gonna look crazy for a second. Now that we're all brushed out, I'm just gonna go ahead and part half of my hair up into a clip out of my way. Boom, simple, simple. This is a really important step, this curling iron. I swear, I don't know if it's this curling iron that particularly smooths out my hair. I have tried to do this with like a Hot Tools curling iron and it didn't really work. I still use Hot Tools for other things like beach waves and stuff like that, but for some reason, this Infinite Pro Conair, it always smooths out my hair. You're gonna wanna take about an inch section. It's really important not to take a section that's too big. And I run it through a couple times and once I run it through a couple times, then I take it all the way to the ends. I know sometimes when you do beach waves, you wanna leave the end out, but right now we're frizzy. We need to defrizz first. I just run it through. Sometimes I'll even break it in half, get to the base one more time just to get really, really close, and run it through. Boom. As you guys can see, this curling iron in two seconds took out the frizz and everything, and I have no product in my hair. However, I probably should have heat protectant but half of the time I'm too lazy and I don't usually use it. I don't hold the curl in the barrel for very long because I don't want it to get too curled. Throwing it in and keep it moving. This is the start of a smooth process and look how easy that was. And I always brush it out. Unless you really, really want like a curl, then don't brush it out. But for me, I just like to use it to smooth out my hair and give an effortless look. It's like a Pantene Pro-V commercial. I'm telling you, magic. I don't know what's going on. This is sorcery compared to up here. Like what I have going on? This, this, this. Let me tell you, if you're trying to smooth out frizz, you have to work in sections. If you skip a section, you'll have a frizzy piece of hair just poking through somewhere and you really have to go through and smooth out every piece. I'm gonna start with this piece because it's less intimidating, not as close. But you see how I go through at the base? Then I'll curl all the way to the edge. Grab the piece and you just run through the base to get close to those hairline hairs. And then you take the rest of the hair and you curl it. Typically, as you get to the top of your hair, for most people, that's where it's the frizziest because that's where you do the most damage to your hair. That's where most people get more highlights. You just do more heat styling up there because you care about the top more. Once you get to the top sections, be diligent to get those frizzy areas. The good thing about doing your hair this way is that you get to sleep peacefully, not worried about having to round brush your hair. And second of all, I find that when I round brush blow dry my hair, I end up curling it anyways on top of that. This just cuts out one of the steps, so I don't put as much heat on my hair now because I'm just smoothing it out and not having to blow dry it. I don't know why I said this on my IG stories, but I just love drugstore curling irons. I've tried other ones, like, you know, ones that people tell me to get, fancy ones, and I swear they're not as good. Since I've been putting less and less bleach in my hair, I've been doing that for a reason. As you guys can see, like, this is all my natural hair color right here. And I've been doing that because I'm trying to get my curl back. The more bleach I put in it, the more I kill my curl. So I know, I see some comments of people saying like, oh, I miss your light hair. And I'm like, I know, me too, but I also want my natural hair texture back. And the more I damage it, the less it comes back. I'm sure I'll go light again in the summer sometime, but I'm just trying to be healthy. Okay, let's do this side. Honestly, I find this method to be like a lot faster too. No, I'm just gonna be continuing the same method all throughout. If you have extra, extra curly hair, and a lot of us tend to have like really frizzy areas like right close to the hairline, usually this smooths it out, but there's days where my hairline is trying me and it gets even curlier and frizzier there. That's when I'll just take a round brush and blow out just my bang area, like the, the hairline. Let's see if I can get it all smoothed out with the curling iron first today. 
I never ever take a straightener to my baby hairs, like ever. Curling iron is one thing, but like when people take a straightener to my little baby hairs, I get so concerned when they do my hair. All that does is make them stick straight out every single time. Now I'm just working up towards the top and all these pieces I'm curling away from my face. Even the front, when I go down, I just go down, but then I curl away. Depending on how you like to part your hair, I'm gonna go ahead and do a center part today, but just part your hair that way. Sometimes too, it's kind of like however my hair wants to part. I have no say in the matter. This is how broken my hair is, okay? Like this is trying to catch up to this length right now. This is pretty much it now. It's all smoothed out, it's bouncy, it has a nice wave. Really this tutorial is about just how to smooth it out. At this point, typically I would add um, some extensions to my hair just because I like more fullness. You don't have to, obviously. Another tip, like I was saying earlier, is if you don't want your hair to be waved, you just want more of like lived in hair, I just take the last inch and stick a straightener to it and kind of straighten it inwards. So see now how this just kind of looks a little bit more beachy and this side is like a little bit more waved at the bottom. That's only if you want the straight ends, right? The smoothing out part, all you need is the curling iron. If you want to straighten the ends, then you could do that too. Typically for a day-to-day -day basis, I don't really put product in my hair. I don't really love that much product. The only thing I will put in it is a little hair oil. This one is by Way, just one drop and I'll run it through the ends and like through the frizzy parts of the top, like right here where all my little baby hairs are broken. I'll just run a little hair oil through there. We're already done with the tutorial, okay? I'm just taking it a few extra steps. If I'm feeling extra frisky, like okay, I want some volume, I want a little something something, I use the r and Co. this is the dry shampoo paste. So one thing I will say about this is I only use it when it's like, I'm going to an event, I want my hair to look a little bit more fluffy because I don't like to dirty my hair if I don't have to because I already have such a like frizzy texture. The more product I put in, it like weighs it down, the dirtier it gets. I know some people like to put product in their hair to dirty it up because it's so silky, but I don't have that problem. I mean, if I can avoid it, I don't put hair product, but this stuff is a dry shampoo. I like to take this and just kind of this motion, run it through the hair, especially towards the root to give myself a little bit more lift. So really get it through the roots, perk it up. All right guys, so this is it. This is the finished look. It was super easy to do, so much easier than giving myself a blowout and then curling it after. It cuts out a whole step because nobody wants to be up at night after they shower, giving themselves a blowout, with the brown brush and the blow dryer, you're getting hot, you're getting sweaty, and all you wanna do is watch Netflix, you know? I hope it works for you guys. Let me know in the comments if you try this at home and it works. It would just make me so happy to know that it did. I hope I can help my frizzy haired girls out there. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Hello, welcome to my channel. What did I do to deserve this? Call 1-800, smooth that frizz. Yay! For $19.99, if you call now, you will get two curling irons for the price of one. <laughs> Done.